I'm just gonna say my bullshit meter is just going off the charts today. So I did a video about how restaurants are electively padding your bills. So go back and look at that video. Let's talk about the air quality control. Let's talk about how horrible it is here on the East Coast from the fires out of Canada. Some of the pictures we're seeing taken by, well, we're not really sure who. So here in DC, sunny, bright skies, smell nothing. Apparently, the kids can't go out for recess, but all the businesses are open. Restaurants outside, dining is open. There's functions going on tomorrow I'm invited to outside and there isn't one iota of, or flinch of air quality control, warning, warning, Will Robinson going on. So I gotta call a little bullshit on who's calling this air quality control thing. But what I'm seeing here is schools aren't closed. Restaurants aren't being asked to take their things inside. Now we've only dined inside as they filter the air from the outside inside. Yeah. It's not just about breathing it in, it's about what lands on your car, your clothes, every orifice of the outdoors that's going to stay on there for a while that affect the air quality control. And a lot of that you won't see. You'll see pollen, but you won't see that. It'll come maybe in the form of dust. Who knows? Who really knows? Who really knows if any of this is actually real. And if it was, why are you just hearing the warning bells, but then no one's taking action to do anything? So then I see two types of people going to and fro. Those wearing their mask all freaked out that they're <gasps> protecting themselves with a see-through paper mask. Or I'm seeing people out doing their nightly run, their jog they're in their convertible. That's right. Where they're outside working in a nursery. Yeah. What's up? What's up with all this? Yeah. It's also coming at the exact same time where whistleblowers are coming out about non-human vehicles, space vehicles, hundreds of them tree for quite some time but, and you're not seeing any proof of that so here's what my inner self and my bullshit meter is kind of sharing with me it's saying a lot of distractions are occurring while something else is happening or about to happen yeah want someone to look at the front of the house, you set fire in the back of the house. Fires in Canada aren't different. They're there every summer. It's like California fires. It just happens. Right? So what's this all about? Why does the air quality control go from 0 to 500 in New York? Anything over 125 or so is supposed to be considered dangerous. And the meter's going off at 400 and something. But yet everybody's out. Subways are still running, buses are running. Kids are still at the bus stop, but then they're not allowed to go outside at recess. Hmm. Your bullshit meter going off after listening to this? Can you get your ostrich head out of the sand, it's quicksand pits? Could you actually just look and see? with the reality of what is occurring and quite possibly it gives a little jingle a little rattle to your bullshit meter hmm I don't know I 
would suggest you all think about it. Tap into it. Start looking and listening and sensing and tuning in because innately you have a bullshit meter. You have it and you have the right to use it and you have the right to sound out about it. You have the right to speak it, to take action with it. You have those rights. Perhaps maybe step away from the crazy and if you close the blinds on all the distractions, maybe then you could tune in a little bit deeper to first of all find your bullshit meter and then to see if it has anything to say about it. So I would suggest the latter. Appreciate your likes, subscribes, and your shares. Appreciate just listening because I think there's a lot more to come and I'll post out about that too have a great day